Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Consistent Rob, uploading and giving you another video. This would be day seven if, you know, the Wojcicki sisters didn't come, they didn't hit me in the back of my neck. You can see more about that video after you finish watching this one up in the cards. Also, you know what time it is, baby. It's time for you to give me that like. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join me. And once you join, it's a blood pack. You don't get to leave. So today, you guys know, this is a little sadder video. I listen to a lot of drill music. A drill music is Chicago rap music that is very gang affiliated. A lot of roots to different gangs and gang culture, a lot of murder surrounding it, and a lot of dissing uh, the opposition's dead members of their gangs, which you can probably imagine uh, definitely increases the tension between gangs in Chicago. But it's something that, honestly, I've just been listening to it since 2012 with the rise of Chief Keef and some of the other, I guess, uh, associates of his. And then you kind of venture out and you listen to other people. And the music overall, in my opinion, is pretty good the culture surrounding it is very very sad and honestly i think there's a lot to critique there but i think the overall music itself and the product is pretty enjoyable experience i think it's amazing music to work out to not something you probably want to listen to every day and definitely wouldn't want to be in an argument with somebody while any of this music is playing because it's going to get violent very very fast so now where am i heading with all this there's a guy by the name of king von who he really blew up within the last year i personally found out about him because a, a lot of the times i'm the type of person where if i like something i don't really venture out i like that one thing it's like bluebell ice cream i don't need to try the different cookie doughs that two-step cookie be hitting so i don't need to try the double chocolate chip cookie dough which i mean that you know that one's pretty good but the cool the two-step cookie it just be like that dough mo so i saw this guy king von get recommended to me on youtube sometimes on youtube i swear bro i make this joke i say yo it's like people got the button presses on their account a video takes off and youtube is like hey you're gonna watch this and it's like but big youtube i don't want to and it's like haha there little nigga you're gonna watch it and they recommend it non-stop so it was this track called 2 a.m and i'm not gonna lie that that's that joint just hit different that joint some heat rock like that joint just slapped different it was it was it was fire so then you know you you watch one video you start listening to some other stuff then you venture up on the crazy story the crazy stories hit different it's some heat rock like it just is like that but recently he passed away as of like last night and it just is one of those things right when you watch people die or you watch people or in near-death experiences on video cam it just has like a different effect like i'm sitting here and my mindset is like wow this guy is really gone and in a way now hear me out because what i'm about to say sounds crazy in a way i don't know if it's sad that these artists get this much of an ego and the fans pretty much embolden niggas egos to the point where people generally start believing this or if it's excellent marketing because when i'm listening and i'm looking at articles and it's like yo he's died due to gun violence outside of a club my mind says like yo this nigga got shot and died nah like it's, it's one of them joints where it's like so somebody killed him with bullets really it is i just i don't know man I, I just hear it and i've just been thinking about it i'm like yo it's weird when you just listen to somebody's music like non-stop i want to say honestly this year i've been listening to a lot of duck he died in july <laughs> i've listened to a lot of pop smoke he passed away i've been listening to von von just died everybody i'm listening to is dying son like I'm, I'm not trying to make this about me but come on can we please stay out the streets man it's like because it's not like the music is subpar where it's like you know somebody is putting out something that was in it's like eh, i mean it was all right you know it's unfortunate what happened to him i'm listening i'm bro if you've watched me stream you gonna hear Vine, you gonna hear Duck, Pop Smoke, I listen to more so in my free time when I'm playing games, but you gonna hear those first two guys a lot if you watch me stream. How it go, I've ran into the ground, uh, why he told, <laughs> why he told I've listened to so much that I'm officially memeing it. <laughs> I'll randomly just say lyrics <laughs> from the song. And it's just, man, I just the entire thing, when you just see it, man, and you just, I don't know, it's something about when people pass away, 
it's like you just have this thought where if it's a conversation you have with them, if it is a maybe maybe it's their joke, maybe it's a laugh, you're never going to hear that shit again. Think about that. Think about somebody like your best friend, right? And he passes away. Think about his laugh. You're never going to hear that shit again. And try to remember what his laugh is going to sound like. You eventually start forgetting the sound of his laugh. That shit is depressing, bro. So it's just like when I see this and I'm I'm just thinking to myself like, yo, this guy to his close friends, there won't be any new memories. There won't be a funny story. There won't be, hey, niggas want to eat pizza, but this nigga want Chinese. So they order both. There's not going to be any of those experiences anymore. It's just, it's, it's like, it's like you're stuck remembering them at that specific age. It's like, imagine you being 48 and your homie dies at 29. You don't, re you won't even know what he looks like at 48 with you. You, you got the memory of him at 28, 29. I don't know, man. That shit just does something to you, bro. That shit just, it just, I don't know. It just, it just brings this emotion out of you, man, for real. And it's just really sad, man. When I see people that have kids, Duck, like when, when Duck passed away, uh, people don't know. I'm just saying like names. FGB Duck was a rival of this uh, gentleman, King Von. Uh, but when Ki when Duck passed away in July, like you're seeing photos of his, of his son and his son is crying and you're thinking like, yo, I, <laughs> like I never got to meet some of my grandparents so it's like you you don't have a memory of them but it's like imagine you having a, a a child at five or you're that kid at five and you're gone they only have that memory and that's so early in their life they're gonna make so many memories that they're eventually gonna kind of maybe forget those interactions that they've had with you because there's gonna be so many other more memories that are gonna form over the course of their life. So when I'm seeing like, I'm seeing kids out here just parentless, it just, it just, it, it's heartbreaking to be honest. It's heartbreaking, it's heartbreaking. I can make a whole nother video ranting about the effects that fans have on rappers and just the effects that the music and the type of energy that comes with it. I don't want to do that in this video because I just, you know, I'm again, I'm not trying to be here 30 minutes, but it just, it's something about it, man. It's just something about it, the entire thing. The entire thing though is, it, again, it's just, it's, it's just like, yo, this guy passed away? Like he just was supposed to have a music video drop, I think today. It's just crazy to think about. The entire ordeal is crazy to think about, man. I don't know that i don't know i'm not trying to be like real sad so i'm just gonna wrap it up here that's just my thoughts uh, i know a couple of you guys have asked because on streams you know i listen to this a lot and i think right when it happened i got two or three comments asking me my my take on it this is my thoughts on everything that has currently happened um it's unfortunate loss of life about the entire thing the guy that did kill him um has been charged with murder at the moment so i mean i guess that's open shut case right there hopefully everything works out you know justice gets served properly but i don't know that's just my thoughts on everything i would love to read your thoughts down in the comment section below on this be sure to check out the links in the description as always with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one everybody have a great day and i'll talk to y'all soon